Hi friends, going to try another quick uh, spiccato comparison. Trailer strings, uh, lass, light, uh, fluid shorts from performance samples, and Spitfire Chamber. And I just picked these because these are the ones that I have that are kind of similar. I also have some 8DO stuff that I've kind of ruled out for now. Um, so... Yeah, <clears throat> we'll just start here. So um, I'm going to start with Spitfire, I think. This, uh, the, the things that I was looking at was, what does it sound like out of the box? What do you need to do to make it work for you? How many options does it have for it to be configurable? Does it sound good for trailer music? Um, and you can't really tell that um, easily without being in a big mix. I don't have here and this is a pretty boring annoying uh, pattern here but um, I've just got a quick little pattern a couple of random velocities and all of the different spiccatos from Spitfire are loaded so violin ones has a short a dig and a feathered and all of them are playing which is gonna fill out uh, Spitfire a little bit more than some of the others I can mute them um, and solo them and just show you what they sound like so, all together, it's the most kind of silky sound of these groups. It's well balanced. It's You can add a lot of ambience if you want with the mic positions. I've got them all mixed a little bit toward the close side, but not completely close. And it's got, um, you know, you can hear a little bit of a bow on the you know, rosin on the bow kind of sound. You can put in, oh, oh I've got OTT on it already. Um, you know, without OTT. With OTT. Just some gentle OTT. Um, I'll let those other articulations, the dig and the feather come in. And like I said, you can get really close with these, so I'll play around with it a minute. Actually, I'll wait, I'll do the comparison and then I'll start playing with them more. So I've I've already started messing with this. The vibrato's down, the mics are closer. I think I pulled the sound of the cellos down. Cello uh, volume is down from where it was, possibly. Also a nice stereo image. Okay, so now we'll move to fluid shorts. The difference here is these are shorter. Um, I've got the normals loaded. It almost sounds like there's a double bowing. There's like a um, chicka 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 like a delay. So the mod wheel is all the way up, which actually envelopes um, the release. I'm going to move my mod wheel here. Uh, which one have I got selected? Okay, maybe not. Should be doing what I think it's going to do. It's moving all of them. Why don't I see this guy lighting up? Should be making this light go back here. Um, so just keep uh, in mind that the mod wheel is controlling the envelope release to tighten it up a little bit. But this is as tight as it goes, and it's still pretty ambient uh, relative to what it could be. This is only the close mic soloed out. And it's still pretty ambient. So what I'm going to do is switch from normal to tight and keep soloing the close mic for all three of them. And um, that tightens up a little bit of the attack. 
and the mod wheel is still automated to be at the top. And it gets a little drier. Um, we're just going to move on uh, quickly here. So last, I don't know why I... So last, I've tried to get the rhythms to do this thing even though it's a different pattern. And I did click the EQ and the tuning. This is a basic, or this is a patch that comes with the mul a multi that comes with it. It's the Spick re Reverb. I've taken the reverb out of all of these. So um, what I'm trying to show you with my mouse is this aux one is all the way down. That comes up when you load this patch. Should unmute the cellos. And uh, I also hit the tuning button. I don't know how much it's really going to make. Oops. The tuning tool. So this is uh, out of the box the most flexible. It's got these tuning tools. Um, I did uh, click the tuning button. It's got all of these different rhythms. I'm trying to let them play. Uh, you can... You can do a bunch of stuff. This is the most, um, this is Last Light, and it's the most um, controllable of any ones that I'll show you today. Well, Spitfire has a bunch of controls, but Last Light, I think, has ultimately a wider variety of, of, of controls that you can use. Um, um, real quickly, then, um, trailer strings. Now, trailer strings. I've got the velocity ones, not the crossfade, not the uh, mod wheel ones. And they're using the same velocities pretty much as the other ones. I hit a random um, velocity thing and dragged it to most of them. Uh, what you'll notice here, this is the close mic because I'm trying to get the, on the drier end of sounds for this comparison. And uh, it's got a really nice stereo image out of the box. Very few controls, almost none. I found that tight humanization type sounded pretty good. Um, so, and there's only three patches. There's all the violins are in one. There's no violin one two. The yellows, they're well balanced. They're a little gruff. Um, they're a little rough. I think they're designed to um, fill fill in a mix. So I put them in an order that. Um, I think kind of represents how they can sound, how they sound compared to one another. Trailer strings is pretty well manicured and um, unified in a sound, nice stereo image, but has a little bit of a rough sound in terms of tonal quality and in, in its timbre. A similar roughness, but is even more rough, but a narrow stereo stereo image. And they can also be a touch shorter. Now I do have the sustain pedal on, which means I'm triggering that art articulation uh, that that Lass has. Um, so I'm just trying to run through this pattern for better or for worse. You can make your own kind of patterns. So I find these relatively similar in this group. Just the stereo image is different, and keep in mind that you're listening to the close mic. Um, then we move into fluid shorts, and they are strikingly more lighter and sharper, and uh, a little more delicate, and very well manicured, I, I would say. Although you can go ultra tight, uh, you can get tighter than this. This is just the close mic, and just with the mod wheel all the way up, trying to make them dry as possible. Notice they're also really quiet. I've got this up seven decibels. I'll even move it up a little bit more to kind of keep the balance kind of similar. Now 
Now I like the the tight for a lot of the things that I think I'd be using it for, but I'll just go to the ultra tight to show how mechanical they can get. Now I have to solo these very few controls. The other thing about the performance samples, there's very little that you can do. I mean, you get you get what you get. So very tight when the ultra tight, almost too too tight. That's why I would go back to the tight. Back to spick or lass. So a little bit of a darker sound and at its closest, still a little distant. This can sound closer, even though it's got a lot of ambience, interestingly. Now we'll go back to the first one. Um, I'm tempted to make it to dry it up again. Um, I'll start with the lower end, drying it up. That's about all I need to do, I think. So fluid shorts and chamber strings, especially when I allow all these layers of chamber strings on the violin one patches, the short spiccato, the feather, which is very, very, very light. I don't even need it that loud. Wait, I'm not in Spitfire. That's why I had it so loud. It's very, very light. And very stereo panned until you bring the room in. Um, how many round robins do they have here? Four round robins of these. It's it's an interesting patch, this feathered spiccato. I like it better than the ATO feathered. They're they're um the Adagio to, um yeah, I think Adagio has some spick feathers and um yeah, I'm not gonna put the ATOs in this comparison. Let me know if you want me to. This short spiccato is the loosest of the of the ch Spitfires. That dig is is actually really nice. And here I'll do the max velocity again. Less variation in this group of it's about down to about eighteen neg uh, eighteen less than one twenty seven whatever that math is. What sixteen to one hundred six. No, 109. I mean, it's not a lot. It's it's not a huge dig. comparing a whole ensemble to just one song. I mean, I just think that this, the, the Spitfire Chamber Strings fills out quite nicely. Uh, especially when you get that cello balancing it on the right side. You might have to work with some panning if you want it. The viola moved over a little bit more. Oh, they're pretty, they're pretty centered. You've got a lot of things that you can do just with mic positions and the volumes of the different patches beyond getting, you know, too detailed with some of this other stuff. It's 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 a versatile package. You've got a lot of articulations. You get a lot of stuff from the Spitfire chamber. Um, fluid shorts. Now, 
obviously this is just the upper range of the cello I'm showing. Pretty big room comes out when you bring in the wide and the deck. This is a little D verb. It can get a little gated if I don't. So if you want that middle mic, that uh, deco tree uh, in there, you can use a little D verb to kind of, and you can probably envelope them down a little bit more too. So you get a lot more scrape, um, which I think would that noise would probably help stick out of a mix. They're very light. They're very short. All these are um, quantized to 240 ticks. What's our tempo? Do do do. Tempo is 132. So, yeah, lighter, gentler, a little thinner, you would need to add some grit, probably. shorts are just the shortest I've got at this point. They just are really nice and short. Just really, really nice. Here's the max velocity. Trailer strings. And you can um, get that, uh, well, I guess that's tight. If humanization is off, let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, you would probably need to go in and, and and envelope that down to get them as short. But you could. I mean, none of these, by, by their very nature, get as short as fluid shorts. Um, unless someone knows a, a way to do something with uh, last that I don't know how to do yet. Uh, you could also do re-trigger, and that's going to skip this whole art articulation thing. I don't know how important it is to have re-trigger on or off, or, especially if it's not matching the pattern.
So I put those two in one category, and then I put these two. Well, I mean, these two are slightly different from both of those two. Those two are very similar. It's really the stereo image that starts to distinguish them, which you could probably spread lass, and you could probably narrow trailer without too much effort. Now this is very short and tight. I've got the ultra tight on. You would get more rhythmic variation and it would sound a little more round robin-y if I had the regular tight on, a normal delay on. I've got the wide mics muted, just like I do with trailer strings and with the fact that last doesn't have any of the reverbs applied, sort of. And then Spitfire again. OTT is on. Uh, get a little louder. Yeah, it's just so wet. Uh, it's fluid shorts. chamber strings plenty wet. And without something like an OTT or, or an EQ to kind of... You're not going to be able to pump up that sharp highness. Same OTT up here now. So, I mean, you're getting, you're getting them pretty close. There's still a little bit more richness here, but I could spend some time getting them closer. Um, <clears throat> Food shorts is on sale today for $39. Chamber strings is hundreds. You get a lot more for it. You don't get just the shorts, but if you want this sound, you could look at something like this. Um, LA. If it's not fair to not have reverb, I'll put its built-in reverb on it. It's much darker. on it. I don't know where this started, somewhere right there. I, well, I mean, it doesn't need it. If if you want them to kind of sound light and sharp, a little bit of brightening could help. I mean, that may be too brittle for some people. It's pretty exaggerated. So 
you can see where I'm going with this. There is a way to even get them similar. And then trailer strings has the most, um, I don't know, it adds a little bit of gloss. The processing it ends up feeling a lot more Hollywoody, lush. Even for shorts, it starts feeling easily. You can make them sound a little bit more intimate. Darker. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs>